Okay, be honest. When's the last time you spent all weekend long cleaning? You're pooped, you're tired, and you're like, when did we last change our air filter? Why does my coffee taste so nasty? You are not alone. How many times that we forget to clean the little things that we always take for granted, like, oh, they're there, but we never think about cleaning them. I bet there's a lot that you're not thinking about cleaning. Me neither. When I went on research to do this, I found a few myself that I'm kind of sorry to say I didn't even think about either. So, get you some tea since we're going to fix the coffee issue. Grab you some tea, sit down, and come clean with me, Jessica C. Hi, welcome back. But if you're new, I am Mommy Randoms, Jessica C. I like to keep your house spick and span without breaking your back, your budget, or your clock. So, if you're interested in videos like that, like, subscribe, and leave me a comment on anything else you would like to see. And let's get started. Did you ever think about cleaning bath toys? You can actually either throw them in the dishwasher, or throw them away. Not cheap ones. <laughs> no, you can seriously put them in the dishwasher as long as you put them on the top rack and actually run them through the dishwasher. Also with your sponges. Sponges are very, they're very frugal. They're not really expensive, but sometimes they can be after you buy them so many times. So if you don't want to throw them away, you can actually put them in the dishwasher as well, put them on the top rack. I actually do this with my scrubber brushes. I put them in the dishwasher about once a week and run them through the dishwasher. It actually cleans them. Clean your washer and dryer. Your washer, they actually have little things you can throw in there, like little pods you can throw in there. Or you can just use some vinegar, run it through like a whole cycle, clean. The dryer, you wanna make sure you get a long dryer stick that actually goes into the vent and pulls anything out that your vent trap isn't getting. And remember, vent traps need to be cleaned every time you get something out of the dryer. This helps your electricity bill as well because it can dry more efficiently if the lint trap is cleaned out. Oh, and did we mention air filters? Yeah. Yeah. I actually buy them in bulk from Sam's and I still forget to clean them out. It happens. But I actually did it last week. Score one for me. Gold star. Your pet bulbs, they need to be cleaned. It's moisture, so it can cause germs and like fungus and stuff. So you wanna make sure you're cleaning those. Even the food, because obviously it's gonna be right beside the water, which then can probably get some water in it, kinda of trap it, and it's gonna be nasty too. If you love your dogs and cats and pets like family, treat them as such. Clean their bowls. <laughs> dishwasher just like the dryer and the washer just because they clean doesn't mean they don't need to be cleaned as well so wash the dishwasher and just like the dryer and the washer there's actually little pods that you can buy throw them in there run them through a cycle by themselves it cleans it but if you want to be more frugal about it put some bacon soda let it run through good as new coffee makers just because you have a Keurig does not mean you don't need to run it through a clean cycle. And <laughs> they have things, again, that you can put in the Keurig and it cleans it. Run it through a cycle, it cleans it. It's really easy, guys. I don't drink coffee, but I know when like tea makers, you know, from like the 90s, is that showing my age? 
if they wasn't cleaned, they would, you know, nasty. Just like a restaurant. Have you ever been to a restaurant and you just know the tea thing was not cleaned? Yeah. So clean your cure eggs, your tea makers, anything like that. They still need to be cleaned. The toaster. Do you know how many crumbs just fall at the bottom of the toaster? Oh, All you literally do is turn it upside down over your sink or over your trash can, shake it a little bit, and then kind of clean the outside to make sure it's clean. It's really not hard to do. I do it about once a week or after a few uses. It's not like you have to do it every single time, but something that we do forget to do. And the outside and the sides of your refrigerator and oven, your stove, those appliances need to be cleaned as well. You can walk into the most gorgeous kitchen, but if it has stuff all over the front of the fridge, you're gonna be like, you know, am I right? I'm right, you know I'm right. That's why now they make stainless steel appliances that don't have those little smudge marks all the time. <laughs> because people do not like to see nasty fridges, nasty stoves. <laughs> they make them for a reason. video was very educational for you there's some things on this list trust me that I did not even realize I was not doing as well you're not alone let's just say that <laughs> but hopefully this helped you in thinking oh I need to clean that even if it's once a week um, some of these things do need to you know be maintained especially your air filter especially if you have pets I have two dogs so I actually probably need to change my air filter a little bit more than non smokers non pet owners which we don't smoke but we do have pets so just make sure you kind of remember stuff if you want to. Make a little note, put a little list on your refrigerator. And if anything, you could also give it to a chore, you know, do a chore list for your husband. Just saying, wink, wink, Jared. You know, he watches these, I know he'll see this. Or, you know, ask for help. If you have so many things to do all week, be like, hey, the air filter needs to be changed. Make a calendar notification, bam put that one on your husband's calendar notification as well just throwing that out there <laughs> but if you like this video comment below let me know what you actually think that I missed on this video and I can make another video like and subscribe and I'll see you next time